revealed a magical artifact. What would it be and what would it do? Hmm. I think it would be a sword and I think it would be... It would give me the ability to speak every language in the entire world and understand every language in the entire world. I think it would be uh, an orb that would have the ability for me to read minds because then I'll be able to see what people are thinking and be able to see that. It's this thing called the Gom Jabar and that name is just beautiful and it's a little nail, tip of a nail with a little pike in it and if you hold it against someone there's a drop of, not venom, what do you call it, drop of poison and it will kill you. I had a magical, a magical ring, that's what I'd like. So I had like, you know, a ring that I could slyly slide onto my finger and then that performed my magic. I think that would be good. That would be my favourite. Well, I'm very attracted to the idea of transporters. I think, you know, in those films where they've got the big glass balls and they like look into other people's lives because I'm always a bit like nosy to see what's going on. So As if it was some sort of chocolate biscuit machine. That's, but that wouldn't be very healthy. Maybe like this fork and then you could wave it and food would come out of it. That would be quite cool. That would be cool. So in this film, Man and Ages Backwards, if you could be one age forever, what would it be and why? Like eight, eight years old, being a kid. Like a kid kid, because I'm still a kid, but like a young kid, because I didn't care about anything, just lived my life. I don't know if I've reached it yet. I'd say 30, maybe, because you're, you're, not, you're not old and you're not young and you have some wisdom. I would like to be picking up my ticket at the Globe Theatre in London in the beginning of the 17th century for the opening night of Hamlet. What's one of the funniest things you guys did on set? The cameraman, uh, Chunky, it was his last day on um, set and we all thought we'd give him a good send off and we threw him in this big humongous pool of water and we're like, we just dunked him inside it, yeah. We were on set one day and it was quite slippy and I just fell, just slipped and everyone started laughing, but it was fun. If you could choose one character, fictional or real, to come back and help you, who would it be and why? God, these are good questions. But who would you choose? Okay, I would probably choose. Oh! No, go. No, 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 you go. I don't know why my head went to, but it's because I miss him so much. Alan Rickman and Snape. Yes! Was that yours? That's mine! Was, were you going to say yes, that? I was. Have a wonderful and magical time at the Kid Who Would Be King premiere. Well, here's a little magic of my own. <laughs>